In this video, I'm going to show you my best three keyword methods currently that I'm using every single day. Please mind the voice. I do have an illness. Okay, I'm not going to say which illness because it'll probably get me demonetized. Now, the first one is keywordtool.io. Now, this one is quite controversial. I'll tell you exactly why. So let's just do something. Let's just write something like clothing, for example. Okay, the reason this is such a controversial method for finding keywords is because this right here where it says subscribe to Keyword Tool Pro right now to instantly get all the data. But the thing is, you don't need all the data. So it's technically a completely free tool if you just ignore the data. You don't need the search volume, the trends, etc. You can use Google Keyword Planner for free to check if a keyword is actually worth it. You could also use Ahrefs Keyword Generator for free to see if you care what the keyword difficulty of a keyword is without even signing into Ahrefs, okay? So when I say it's free, I mean the keyword is free. The rest of it, you would normally have to pay, or you can just use another free keyword tool in order to do that further research. Now, what I've been doing is I've been typing something like best suits for, best men's suits for. And I just realized I was in Dutch. So I think while I was streaming for three hours last night, I was also in Dutch the entire time. So I'll have to check that. But. Still gave me some pretty good suggestions though. So right now, what I'm doing, my current method of writing content, you can watch the stream last night if you want, or I'm gonna be making another video about this. Basically what I've been doing is I'm going for really big keywords. So cool t-shirts, which has 10,000 searches per month, okay? And then the way that I'm getting it is I'm inputting my products into, the, into a table at the top. Again, you can watch the stream if you wanna learn more about that or wait for the video that I'm gonna make about it. And then I just write a very simple 450 word article. The reason I'm doing it like this is because I noticed that they were actually getting huge amounts of traffic, even though they're really, really short articles. So when I notice something that I think is working, I normally double down on it. However, this video is more about keyword research. So you need to think about your niche. How can you put your niche into these words? Now, the way this particular keyword tool works is it uses something called phrase match. There are two different types of keyword tools. There are phrase match tools, which includes Ahrefs, KeywordTool.io, and then Answer Socrates. However, there are also semantic match tools. And the only one I know of anyway is Google Ads Keyword Planner, which is why I personally think Google Ads Keyword Planner is the best. However, Sometimes you do actually need phrase match. So you can search through these. You can see some of these are fine. Best suits for wedding. Really, really good article to write right now. Best suits for under 500. We do have some suits for under 500. Best suits for under 1,000. We have a lot of suits for under 1,000. All of these would work well. Best men's suits affordable. Um, yeah. What are the best quality men's suits? Yeah, I guess. Not quite as good. And then you can change the word suit to anything. So you can do um, sports jacket. And you'll see you'll get a whole different uh, result. Best men's sports coats with jeans. Um, they, this will have a lot of searches per month. So if I do sport coat jeans on Ahrefs, we can see if it will show us. Yeah, it doesn't really show us, but you can see there are a lot of searches here, which is normally a good sign. So this is the first tool. Another thing you can do is you can click on questions, you can click on prepositions, or you can click on, click on the Google Trends at the top, and you can just type in a more broad term, like sports coat, for example, which has 50,000 searches per month. And then you can see if there's anything that's currently ranking, currently trending. Looks like maybe not, except this one, corduroy sports coat. Very, very interesting keyword. You can do a best corduroy sports coats 2024. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we have just added some corduroy, what could be called a sports coat. Um, so I don't think we call them corduroy actually. Yeah, I still I, I told my boss fifty that my old boss fifty thousand times we don't call it velvet. This is called corduroy. No one listens to me. This isn't really a sports coat though. So yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's one way that I find keywords. Okay. Now, I'm specifically talking about these quick uh, listicle articles that I personally have found rank the best, okay? Like fashionable outfits, best Italian jackets to keep you warm, 
top Italian designer t-shirt brands, best men's clothing brands, the art of uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the next one that I'm currently using is ads.google.com. This is potentially the best keyword tool in existence. It's also completely free. You have to go through their weird flow. You have to add a payment method. Just add it all, add it all. Just go through the flow. And then finally, when you get to the main screen, you can cl click on tools, keyword planner, and then you're here. Now, there's a few ways to do this. You can either find a competitor. So I, I like to use GQ just because they have so much content. So just to gear things towards classic menswear, you can actually just use GQ or whatever's website. Click start with keywords. You can see here it's uh, still GQ.com. And then type in something like men's clothing. And then, like I said before, it uses semantics. So you can see here, watch, watch this. Cargo pants doesn't say anything to do with men's clothing. Men's jeans, polo shirts, men's hoodies. So this is a really, really quick way to find a lot of good articles. Find your biggest competitor who's pumping out the content like a big magazine in the niche and then pump out your version of that content. Do not copy their content. Do not use their content. You don't even have to. You can just find something that suits you. Polo shirts, okay? This is one I missed. I don't think we've written... I don't think I've written a single polo shirt article. Yeah, it looks like I haven't written a best polo shirts 2024, so I'm going to have to do that because that's a really good idea. And it's got 135,000 searches a month. If we can just get a small percentage of that. Collared shirts, we do have a lot of collared shirts. Men's jeans, obviously I've done that. Men's hoodies, I don't know if I've done, done that. Best men's hoodies 2024, two men diet. A good way for me to check is actually to use Google. Um, just because the website is quite strong now. So if I use Google, it should come up. So yeah, it looks like I haven't done a best hoodies article either. So that's very interesting. I might make note of those too. I'm trying to do 60 articles in January, but I'm not, I'm not making any promises. Best men's. I have to do at least 15, but I might try and do 60. Uh, what was the other one? Polo shirts. Best polo shirts. Okay, so this is possibly my the best way to get keywords. Okay, You can download these. You can put them into ChatGPT. You can try and remove brands. So let's say you don't you don't want brands. You can click on where it says fashion brand right here. That will get rid of all the brands. Get rid of the retailers. Get rid of the other. Mm, maybe not get rid of the other brands just because some of these are not actually brands. And then you can download these and you can use this as a way to just get an absolute crap ton of easy articles to write. Okay. Now this only really works if you have your own products. This is an e-commerce video. But yeah, if you can work this out. This is a huge, huge way to get into the market. Some of these are amazing. I'm probably going to have to make some of these. Yeah, really, really good. Okay, so another thing you can do is you can get rid of GQ.com and you can type in men's clothing or you could do like I did before, best um, suit, best men's suit four, and then press enter. You'll see there aren't as many here, but there are some. So best ski wear, best swimwear for men, etc., etc. These aren't quite as good. So it's it's better to kind of be more broad with Google Ads Keyword Planner. So best or just clothing, men's clothing. Yeah, you'll see there's it's actually pretty much the same results as from GQ, just with even more results. It's actually crazy. GQ's SEO is beyond nuts. They're so so strong. And then a few more will do men's outfit for the way that I'm thinking of these is you just put just think about what you're trying to achieve so I'm trying to achieve outfits or you know specific items of clothing that people wear that we sell and that they're our best of so if you're camping you can take this and you can type something like best 10 4 okay and then you can see what comes up so obviously the good tents for backpacking that's an amazing one actually uh, best tent for the beach, that's a good one. Uh, family camping, lightest tent for backpacking, that's a good one. Ca best tent for car camping. You see what I mean? It's super, super easy. You can try and put the competition on low. I just, I don't really care about competition. I'd rather just write every article. But you, you could put competition on low. And that's how you do it. You think about what you're trying to achieve and you put the searches into 
Google Ads key, keyword planner. The final one is Answer Socrates. Now, Answer Socrates does work in a very similar way to Keyword Tool, but it puts things in a different order. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So we'll do United States, obviously. And we will do um, best shirt, best men's shirt. Okay, so what Answer Socrates does is it puts into questions, it splits into prepositions. If you don't know what a preposition is, it's like, um, yeah, like with, to, can, is, near. Near is a preposition of place, for example. Comparisons, in the past, which is an interesting one, and then letters. Letters, for me, is the most interesting one. Um, but yeah, there are some... You just have to look through these, okay, and see that there's not anything good here. So, best color men's shirt for interview. So, that would be a really good article to write. Best shirts for interview as well would be good. You can just look through these. Best linen shirts 2024 we could do. Beautiful. And, yeah, this is another really good one. You can also download the CSV just like... Um, on all of them actually you can copy uh all of the ones here and you can download keyword ideas right here as well so you can store all of this data you can run it through chat gpt you can use it for your own keyword research and guess what you haven't paid a single penny now a lot of people ask me what about ahrefs how do i know if a keyword is good blah 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 if you know the niche you know if a keyword is good and if you don't know the niche what you can do is you can just search the keyword and you can see if big websites are coming up. Okay, so Hockerty is a massive website. The Adult Man, massive website. Flex Suits, big website. Suits Expert, big website. These are all big websites. So you know that this keyword is worth going after because why would a big site write a pointless article? These sites are big because they know which articles to write. So if you see a lot of your big competitors on the SERP, you know that the article is going to be worth writing. You don't need Ahrefs, technically. Now, if you've got an agency or if you've got a lot of clients, it's good to have Ahrefs to keep your eye on companies, but you honestly do not need it. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy New Year, and I'll see you soon for more content. Peace out.